Hey y'all, four o'clock. Um, you are at Rose Tree Blown Glass Studio and Gallery, and we're gonna start today. We have some new items on our Mother's Day, the Thank You Mom Mother's Day display. Mother's Day is May nineteenth, May ninth, which is a Sunday, um, as always. Um, let's see what new stuff we have. We have some bottle stoppers here. So these are the roses and we have roses and cylinders and other things they have it's a, a stainless um, stopper and it fits any wine bottle any standard wine bottle um, we have some new fluted bowls in the back um, and they're not priced so let's do the same as the small one 55 for any of these um, we have the classic wisteria for 180 the round wisteria for 180 also and an angle vase for 99. We have these new wine goblets which are 49 each. These are like solid marbles that I made um, that are fitted for that. They're really cool. Um, so we have the black and gold ones and we have the red, white, and blue ones. They're green and blue. Red, green, and uh, green. <laughs> They're green, green, white, blue, white. <laughs> This is why, this is why, <laughs> shh, I'm not colorblind, color deficient, <laughs> um, except I'm just deficient where everybody else is not. Yeah, they're, they're cut, take two. <laughs> we have the green, green and blue and white, uh, yeah, those are 49 also, let's move on. Kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I guess the word is out. <laughs> they could have thought that their monitors were off, right? That's true. But here we are. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm Mark. Um, I'm owner here, along with my wife Brenda, and you're at Rose Tree Blown Glass Studio and Gallery in beautiful downtown historic Algiers Point, New Orleans, Louisiana. It is 420. And for those of you who observe, congratulations. <laughs> Um, I think, I'm feeling we have a few people that are normally on here who are not going to be on here. Because That's recording. quite possible, yes. <laughs> uh, the voice behind the camera is Darcy. And um, the way we usually do this now is we just um, have conversation as if you walk in the studio while I was working, came down here and just said, hey, what you doing? And talking about the weather, talking about whatever. If you have any questions, um, just write them in the comment section and Darcy will relay those to me. Um, today, oh, if you didn't see, I posted the vase that I did on Thursday um, for the, this announcement for this one, and it is for sale. Um, so if you want that for Mother's Day, that, that would be a wonderful, wonderful gift. Uh, today we're doing a green and white teat petal vase. Um, it's a little smaller. My glass level is getting down low, so. Um, I wanted to do a smaller base and I had an order for this. Um, so it's going to be a two layer piece. Uh, get the uh, color is going to go on the outside of the piece. Get the, uh, the, and then uh, feathered, a little different feathering than I usually do. So um, just a little twist to it. Um, anyway, uh, if you're new here, hi. Um, thanks for thanks for joining us. Uh, don't be don't be shy. Tell us who you are and where you're from, maybe. And uh, if you have questions? Let us know. I know there are a lot of people who are, who are lurking. It's funny because people come in um, and they'll say, "I watch you," but I've never seen them as a person <laughs> that, that comment or, or, or signed in. So I know that we have a lot more people watching us. And we actually have um, commented. So if you're watching and haven't commented before and have a question, put it in the comment section and we'll take care of it. All right, hydration time. So Doc said hi and that the candlesticks were a big hit. Hello, Wonderful. Doc. Hi, Doc. Hey, Doc. Jennifer said uh, hello, giggling Darcy, and hello, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. 
just playing on that. All right, let's begin to the last one to start. So this is my furnace. Inside my furnace is a ceramic bowl called a crucible. The crucible can hold up to 400 pounds of molten glass. Uh, it's 2,050 degrees inside there, and when the glass is that hot, it turns molten, it turns into a liquid. And what I'm going to use is a blowpipe, a stainless steel blowpipe. And it's the same kind of tools that glass blowers have been using, same methodology that glass blowers have been using for over 2,000 years. So, I'm going to open and get my first layer. Each layer is going to gather because you're gathering the glass on the end of the pipe. And you can see that if I stop moving, the glass will drip onto the floor. So you got to keep moving it all the time. So Jennifer wants to know, do you place monthly orders for glass? Um, I, for colored glass, it's bi-weekly, so twice a month, usually. The clear glass, um, give me one second, I got, we're, we're, we're on a, we're tying in here, so <laughs> I have to do certain things at certain times. So I'm going to do what's called a hair trap, I'm going to blow into the, into the, into the pipe, cover the opening with my thumb, when the cold air hits the hot glass, it heats up and expands and blows out your bubble. So you see my bubbles on the inside now. Uh, to continue, so the colored glass, I, like I said, I usually twice a month buy color, um, and that comes from Germany and um, color company in Portland, Oregon that, I, that we use also. And the uh, clear glass I buy by the ton. So um, a ton of glass lasts me, well, I go through, we're doing math now. <laughs> hey, kids, get out the calculator. We're I'm not math. participating in that one. Um, <laughs> so I put in 50, 100, and 50, 50 pounds. No, that's not okay. okay, math is not my strong suit, people. <laughs> okay, a box is 50 pounds, or 55 is kilos. So 55, 55 is 110, and half of that is, uh, say, 140 twice a week. So that's 280. So what's uh, 2,000 divided by 280? Y'all do the calculation out there, and that's how long it takes me to go through a ton of glass. <laughs> so how long does it take the glass to get up to temp to shape? When I put the glass into the furnace at night, so I'll, tonight I'll throw in, because the glass is low, I'll throw in 100 and, 140 pounds or so um, over two or three hours, and um, it'll be melt it out and uh, ready to go in the morning when we start. Tracy said, awesome. And Jennifer said, oops, sorry about the math questions. Yeah, right. <laughs> but she does love watching the first bubble expand. Okay, so this is now cool enough to get the next layer on. So we're going to go do that and then roll it into a color. Still working math? I think, it's about, I think it's about 15 weeks per ton. All right. That's, that's in my brain. This is why I'm not a dealer anymore. Card, card dealer. dealer. Card dealer. <laughs> <laughs> about kilos and grams. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so.
is that I'm using the glass to heat up the chips, and they stick better when they're heated up, so it gets a nice, even thickness on there. <laughs> Jennifer said Mark's doing math and Darcy's doing shady business on the side. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to heat this in the reheating chamber. The reheating chamber runs at about uh, 2150, 2200 degrees or so, and that's just hot. There's no glass in there. And we turn those on in the morning and turn them off when we're done. So we don't have the uh, reheating chambers running while we're not here. Alright, so the, the chips are smoothed out into the glass and then I'm going to start Pulling and pushing them, feathering them, what's called, to make the decoration that I want. So you have the glass, you have a feel for the glass. You kind of know from experience when you have to heat it back up again. You can tell by the sound of it also. When you're working with it? The different visual and uh, audio clues. Oh, you mean like when you're uh, using the metal tools on it and you kind of hear a scraping? That or the marble. Uh. It's, kind of, it's, it's like a, a kind of a thud um, rather than a ring. That makes sense. So you see I'm grabbing the color pulling it up, and I'm going to grab the color and pull it all the way down um, to make the feathers. Jennifer said intuitive knowledge. Yeah, it's kind of like when I'm working, I have this, it's like a Rain Man thing. I, 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 in, the, in the background of my brain, I'm counting all the time, <laughs> and that's just because we're always counting mm -hmm. in the, in, when we're in the furnace. So, you know, it's 10 already. You know, it's just like that I have this countdown in my head. Um, so I can talk and do things rather than concentrate on what I should be doing. That's why when I come down to, to ask you a question or tell you something, I always give it a second and, and let you acknowledge me. And then when you acknowledge me, I can be like, okay, I can, I can interrupt now. <laughs> so that you learn something new. Awesome. We like that part of this. Tracy is laughing about the counting. Rain Man, great flick. <laughs> Does that mean we can take you to Vegas? No, I can't count cards. I can't count cards. <laughs> well, I can work with the cards. But your counting time's not going to be helpful at that, that point. All of a sudden, I'll, I'll realize, <laughs> all of a sudden, I'll realize I'm, I'm counting this for no, no damn reason at all. <laughs> so then I'm going to take these shears and make it so that the ends of my poles all come together. So you see it's more like a, this is more like a bird's feather, the way it looks. Yeah. I like that look. The petal vases are, are, are definitely one of my favorites. It's funny how just one little change in the way things are done is a whole different look. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so the feathering on, uh, let's say, a, um, a peacock or the um, square bowl, very similar to this, but a whole different look, just by, the, by one little subtle nuance. So I'm heating this all back in, smooth it out.
this doesn't have to be as perfectly smooth as if we were going to go back in and gather again. So we have little spots on the top where it's not totally smooth in. So Tracy wants to know, do you do milk glass? Um, no, milk glass, the milk glass is usually a, it's a milky white glass, and that's, that's the color of the whole of, of the glass. They have a furnace that has just that color in it. And my glass is made um, with adding colors onto the gathers or in between gathers. So, uh, as a definition of milk glass, no. So the definition of milk glass is would be that the instead of clear glass, you're starting with white. okay. And most milk glass, if I'm not mistaken, is pressed glass. So that's. Um, Put it to a mold, and then they have a, a, a thing that comes down and presses into the glass, into the onto the glass, and fills up the mold. Um, and then, if they want to shape it after that, they can pick it up on punky and do other things to it. But most of the milk glass that I know is pressed glass, so it's just different shaping technique. I think we all learned something new today. Alright, so I'm going to heat this up and cut a line at the top where it's coming off of the pipe. And that's called a jack line. And the jack line is going to be where it does separate from the pipe later so that we can work on the lip of the piece. The lip right now is the part that's attached to the pipe. Called jacks and by squeezing them on the soft glass, you put a indentation or a line called the jack line. Blow a little bit more. And then I'm going to elongate this a little bit. That means Marcy. Ooh, ooh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna spin it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Marcy is not here, is she? I don't think so. I don't think she said anything yet. What two weeks in a two times in a row that we did the swinging? <sighs> she hasn't been around. Jennifer said <laughs> was laughing and said. Mark is in serious teacher mode today. And let me tell you, I'm sure he loves it. He likes the teacher. I was about to say that actually used to be a job of yours. I met a wife there. Yeah, good job at that too. Toes well. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to measure this and see where we are. So I'm very close. I'm going to swing it elongate it just a little bit more. Tracy agreed about you being in serious teacher mode today. Or did she agree about a good choice for life? Um, no, it was before. It, was, uh, it, it came up for teaching. But I'm sure she agrees with both. Anybody who knows Brenda knows. So <laughs> Whoop. I was up for a smooth transition and you fooled me. So I'm indenting the bottom, putting in what's called a kick so that it sits on the ring of the foot not the whole flat foot. It's much easier to get the ring even than the whole foot. All right, one more shape. Bing, 
just to, to uh, finalize the shape. You see, I always have to keep turning it. It's just little subtle things that make pieces different from glass blower to glass blower. I mean, some people might have just taken that um, shape that I had before, but I kind of like I tightened all this up just just the way I do things. The certain way that I want it. To So, the bottom part, the foot is done, and the bottom part of the body is pretty much done. So now I'm going to put a, get another rod, a the punty, put it on the, attach it to the bottom here, crack it off in our jack line, and maybe it'll open up the top part of the uh, face. So you've got two assistants that help you do production. Yeah. And they're both pretty awesome. Yeah. And I'm just curious how difficult it is to learn somebody else's techniques. I have to break a lot of them at habits. When people come, because I don't, I don't start people from scratch here. I don't teach from scratch. Yeah. Um, I just don't have the time to do that. And uh, people come with bad habits and just have to train them. I mean, I'm not so full of myself to think that I can't learn from other people also. So hopefully when somebody comes here, they'll learn a lot from me and I'll learn something from them. I think that you all work very well as a team. Mm -hmm. That's why this is our longest reheat, right? Yes, because that was the coldest part of it. The transfer is the hardest part to learn about, to learn in one Temperatures and um, pressure, how much the, how much um, the knock a piece, how much water to put on a piece, how cold the piece is when you punny. All those things are not something that you can just learn in a book. You have to learn it by doing. So like Darcy said, this is the longest reheat because the lip was the coldest part of the piece because that was next to the pipe. You see I'm always flashing the whole piece and then coming back and working on the top. Come collect all of that in the morning. <laughs> Actually, I had somebody, I saw somebody was using uh, 
that kind of stuff can make takeaways out of Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, I think especially with the stuff that has the uh, uh, adventuring in it, it might be really cool mm. to make takeaway. Yeah. Adventuring is pretty anyway. Always. And Jennifer was asking what I use the cut pieces for, and uh, I don't actually use the cut pieces. Um, we have other artists who uh, get you know some of our broken pieces and uh, and scraps and things, and they will do their art with that. So I have a an artist who actually uh, gets those long pieces and makes her own art with it. And she contacted me today, so. Oh, did she? Yes. So that's actually looking pretty done. So I got a nice line going up to the to the belly and then through to the neck. The neck is nice and flat. And so that is a T pedal base. Pedal base in green and white. <laughs> I, I cut that. Yeah. It's been a day. Well, I, I, we do. So, we have such a broad line mm -hmm. that I'm trying to remember the name for everything is hard. I mean, it took me two years to get used to it. So, all right. So we're gonna go over to the crack off the table, and this would look great with just like a single stem, single orchid. Mm -hmm. kind of out of it. Oh, an orchid would be gorgeous out of that. But with a tap, put the bunny on correctly. If not, you kind of whack at it a while, so it goes off. And then I'm just going to take this torch and hit the bottom where it was attached and sharp, and now it's not anymore. Kind of fire polish, as we could call it. in there they stabilize at 920 degrees um, and at the end of the day I'll put on a turn down it'll turn down from 920 to room temperature in about 14 hours or so and that releases stress in the piece it won't go from hot to cold real fast and crap so every piece of glass has to be annealed or it'll, at some point it, it might laugh it might make it initially, but at some point it's going to crack just because of the uh, inherent stresses in the piece. So. Oh, Cherie, Cherie made it in, hey Cherie. She said nice. <laughs> Alright, uh, another view of Mama Day, Mom, Mother's Day stuff? Yes. Alright, we have wine stoppers for $50 a piece. And we have a whole... Oh. <laughs> we have a whole... Um, array of different shapes, shapes and colors. colors and whatever. Um, we have some fluted bowls. Uh, those are $55 a piece. Wisterias are $180. Uh, the angle vase is $99. And then we have these really nice wine goblets. This is, just this marble alone we sell for like $75. So these are $49 a piece. And we have some green, green and, and, and white, blue and, and blue white. white. Um, <laughs> goblets there and any of those are $49 each so um, Ooh, I'm losing my balance sorry <laughs> Darcy's down <laughs> uh, anyway um, that's today's um, Facebook live and uh, I want to thank you all for coming and uh, supporting us 
uh, through these troubled times. So hopefully you'll stay with us and uh, keep supporting us. Uh, those of you who we have your email list, if we have you on our email list, you actually at four o'clock should have gotten something in your inbox. So check it out. Um, we, we sent out an email today that would be of uh, interest to everyone. And um, please uh, go in, um, I don't want to say solicit, what the hell is the word? Um, support? Uh, support uh, your neighborhood businesses. There's a word that, I'm, that my brain just isn't getting. It's like transferring from Rain Man to, to, to <laughs> announcer. Nap time? <laughs> no. uh, so anyway, help out your neighborhood businesses. They really need you, and they're the ones who uh, will help turn all this around. Um, if you need glass, you know where to get it. Rose Tree, RoseTreeGallery.com on web. On Facebook, Rose Tree Blown Glass, and Instagram is Rose Tree Glass Gallery, and all of these are on our YouTube channel, which is Rose Tree Blown Glass Studio and Gallery. All right, uh, today's Tuesday, so we'll see you all on Thursday. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we'll do something really <laughs> fun. And again, thank you all for coming. Take care of one another, love one another, be good to another. We'll see you Thursday. Take care.